Hi there, thanks for joining us for this quick demo of adding Minio to our uh, PCF environment. So first thing we're going to need to do before we can get uh, the Minio object storage is we're going to need to import the product. This can be found on the Pivotal network. And we just go over to the Pivotal network, make sure we're logged in, search for Minio, we find it, we grab this link, we download it, agree to our information, and, and then we're ready to go. In the interest of time, I've already downloaded this, so let's move over to Ops Manager. What we want to do is import a product. We're going to select that product. We're going to choose the file that we want. We're going to click Open on it, and then we're going to sit and wait for it. And this is a, as soon as that completes, what you'll see here is the Minio Object Storage, and now we have got to add a tile for it. So we simply click on the uh, plus sign here. See that we've successfully added the product. We'll scroll down. We can see that it is not fully configured. And in this case, it's missing a stem cell. Uh, if it's missing a stem cell, it's as simple as clicking through, missing stem cell. We look for the stem cell that's required. And in our case, we're looking for Ubuntu Trusty 3586. We're gonna import that stem cell. Now, if you don't have this file already, you can go to the stem cell library, Google for it, find the correct file for your backend, and away you go. So we'll hit open on this. We're gonna apply the stem cell to the products, which is gonna be a menu in this case. And we're now good to go. We'll go back to the installation dashboard scroll down we can see that we no longer have the missing stem cell warning we see that it's orange because it's unconfigured so we'll click into the tile we need to choose what our uh, network is going to be and in this case it's going to be called infrastructure in this environment and the service network is going to be services dash one save and jobs were successfully updated we go down to Minio Object Storage, and this is where we're gonna configure uh, the size of our Minio deployment. So in this case, I wanna choose a VM type, and I'm gonna go with a, uh, for this demo, I'm gonna choose two CPUs and four gigs of RAM. And just a small disk is fine. This is just the OS disk. And uh, number of VMs, I'm gonna go with four. So this will allow us to do uh, erasure coding. Uh, and give you high, high availability and uh, protection of your data. And then the disk size needs to be a minimum of two gigs as it's stated here. So I'm just gonna go for five gigs for this, and then we choose the availability zones that we want it to be deployed in. And in this case, we only have one. Save this. And at this point, we're ready to get the uh, Minio tile uh, installed and available for our users to pull it. Uh, through Apps Manager or Command Line. So we'll go back to the installation dashboard and we can see that our pending change is for Minio Object Storage. And we're just gonna click Apply Changes on this. And we can see that it will run through all the changes for all the other services uh, or in newer versions of uh, PCS Ops Manager. These can be chosen selectively. And uh, for the sake of time, We'll just fast forward this and skip ahead. As you can see, we're just about finished here at 95%. And if we scroll down and have a look, we can see that we're on our final task. And our changes have completed, so we'll return to the installation dashboard. And if we scroll down and have a look, we can see everything's green and we're all good to go. So from here, we'll go over to the Pivotal Apps Manager and we have our organization, our space, and we wanna add a service to this space. So let's go over to services, and we're gonna click on add a service, and we're gonna find Minio in the list. If we click on Minio, we can see that there's uh, one type of install, which is standard, so let's just show details on this. And as you can see here, this requires a subscription from Minio, and here's a link with details on it. So we're just gonna select this plan, we're gonna give it an instance name. 
I'll just call this Minio uh, demo from UI. Now we also need to supply an access key and we're going to need to supply a secret key as well. And these are to be used with our um, S3 server uh, instance and buckets. And we can also import a JSON if we want to do that, um, or just keep it in the UI like this. We click Create, and off we go, and we'll see that that is creating the service. And we can go to our command line and check on this. So if we want to check on our services that are being installed, uh, we connect to our instance of Cloud Foundry, and we just put it CF Services. And we'll see that the instance that I started to deploy from the UI is uh, uh, underway. We can see creation in progress. Now, if you wanted to do the same thing from a command line, we can do this. We just go um, CF, create service. It's gonna be Minio. Standard is the plan that we're gonna choose. And we're gonna give it a name. Uh, Minio demo from CLI and then supply it a config file and I have one called minio.conf and all that has is my access key and secret key in it. Go ahead and enter on this. Off it goes and we can do another CF services. We can see that we've got two with creation in progress and if we go back to our UI and refresh this, we'll notice that we have two here and they're both going. So we'll just wait on these to be uh, deployed. Okay, so we can just type in CF services here. And what we can see is that um, the one from the CLI is still in progress. However, the one from the UI is completed. So let's go back to our UI. We can see that our new one is being deployed and we can see the one that we already provisioned is ready to go. So we can click into this. We can see our plan. It's the only one available standard. This says that it requires our Minio subscription and the uh, URL to get there. We can look at settings. This is where we can uh, interact with it, delete the instance if we need to. Now I want to point out Docs. This will take you over to Docs Pivotal IO Partners Minio. And this has uh, all the information that you need. Uh, that is a recap of what I covered in this video. Um, there's guides along the side here. And we've also got here uh, a link for support um, if, if you need to reach out and contact us. Manage will actually bring us to the URL of our instance. And here's where we're asked for access key, secret key. In this case, we had Minio, Minio, one, two, three. Once you're in, it's straightforward. Most of the time, you probably interface with your object storage through uh, APIs from your application. But if you wanted to manually come in and uh, explore uh, your S3 service, you can see it's blank here with no buckets. So down in the bottom right, we just click plus. We can create a new bucket. We'll create a bucket called uh, Pivotal Demo. And we can see that we've got a bucket here. Uh, we have options to edit uh, a policy or delete it. And this is where we can set things such as uh, read-only policies, write-only, read and write to prefixes of files inside of it. And let's we'll close this and let's just get a file inside so we can say upload file. We'll choose a file. I'll pick something small here, open, and this will upload the file and we can see that the file is here. Uh, with a file inside, we can interact with it this is to um, share the object. So if we wanted to uh, make a downloadable link so that we didn't have to share that access key secret key, which you want to keep very private, uh, it's, it's quite sensitive, uh, we can create this URL here uh, and we can say how long it's good for until it expires. So we could say let's expire it in seven days, copy link, and now you can paste that into uh, Slack or an email and send that off to somebody so they can access this object. If you want to delete it, that's also available here, the little garbage can. And there's more options up in the top right here. We can see that this will take us to our GitHub page so you can see um, any new enhancements that are coming out through pull requests, um, any issues and discussion around Minio. Um, 
You can also see uh, uh, full documentation here. So the documentation link I sent before was specific to Pivotal. This is the full suite of Minio documentation found at docs.minio.io. Uh, here's documentation on server, uh, MC, which is a Minio client, and the SDKs. So feel free to use these SDKs for your S3 uh, access. So these APIs um, are lean, mean, well documented here uh, for lots of different languages. And you can go ahead and put these into your apps and use them against uh, your new Minio um, object storage that is ready to go. So with that, I just want to thank you uh, for tuning in.